The following profile details the important events of this mission using approximate times. Five, four, we have engine ignition. Two, one, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket. The Delta IV RS-68A main engine and four strap-on solid rocket motors ignite to lift the vehicle away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Delta IV begins its initial pitch and yaw maneuvers to attain the proper ascent profile and minimize aerodynamic loads. Delta IV reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound at 34 seconds. At 46 seconds, the vehicle reaches maximum dynamic pressure. The strap-on solid rocket motors, or SRMs, burn out approximately 93 seconds into flight. At 1 minute, 40 seconds, the first two SRMs are jettisoned. Approximately two seconds later, the remaining two solid rocket motors are jettisoned. The payload fairing is jettisoned at 3 minutes, 15 seconds. Approaching booster engine cutoff, the Delta IV is burning propellant at a rate of approximately 995 pounds per second, flying at more than 111 miles in altitude and 225 miles downrange. Booster engine cutoff occurs just under four minutes into the flight. Seven seconds after booster engine cutoff, the first stage is jettisoned. Second stage main engine ignition takes place at four minutes, 16 seconds into the flight. The second stage and WGS satellite are now in the first burn. Following the first second stage main engine cutoff at approximately 20 minutes, the mission enters a coast phase. At 29 and a half minutes into flight, the second stage main engine is reignited for a three minute burn. Following cutoff, the second stage and payload enter a coast period in preparation for spacecraft separation. At 41 minutes, 46 seconds, the second stage releases the wideband global SATCOM satellite for the United States Air Force.